Hi everybody, Naturally Ashley here, and I am done my Watermelon Island cleanse. I finished last night. I had, uh, after eating my watermelon juice, well with my watermelon juice, I had two fresh oranges, and they were lovely. They were good oranges. To tell you the truth though, I'm, you know, eating my oranges, eating the watermelon, and the watermelon was more appealing to me, even after seven, six days of eating only watermelon, so that's kind of interesting. I had this morning, or am having this morning, a green juice for breakfast, celery, apple, ginger, and turmeric. Very detoxing and very yummy. It doesn't taste like what I remember that combination tastes like, so I, after a cleanse, my taste buds always shift and fruits and vegetables taste way better. I wanted to share with you guys um, some other benefits and some of my results with my six day watermelon island cleanse. I got asked a question um, on Instagram last night and it was, did you lose any weight? And I did lose a little bit, um, but I did keep up a 2000 calorie diet the whole time, so I really wasn't eating any less calories, and I really wasn't exercising any more or less than normal, so... <coughs> Gabby! Come here! <laughs> she just wants to play. Come here! And so... <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, peeing out a lot of water weight, I was... Maybe a little bit more toned and defined, but not not like a huge drop in weight. Although I see how a lot of people could lose weight on, on doing a watermelon island cleanse. It is actually common for people to lose a bit of weight. Um, other benefits is that my skin feels great. I look in the mirror and I feel like I look younger. I, I feel like those little laugh lines that I have here are a little, little less. And <laughs> my skin just feels fresh. And, and happy. Um, watermelon has a lot of vitamin A and vitamin C in it, which is great for your skin and hair. Watermelon also contains lycopene, and lycopene is a natural sunblock. And watermelon actually contains a lot of lycopene, just like tomatoes. And it's, you know, fully absorbable in the raw form. You don't need to cook your watermelon. <laughs> Um, it's just like a little joke about how they say that you have to cook the, the tomatoes to get all the lycopene, or to get more lycopene out of it, but that's another thing. Um, so another thing I felt on Banana I or Watermelon Island is just, you know, peace and ease and simplicity. I absolutely loved that I didn't have to think about what I was making for my meals. I didn't have to spend a lot of time prepping anything, you know, I slice the watermelon in half, you eat half of a watermelon, you're done. And I was full and satisfied for the day. I wasn't hungry. A couple of times in the evenings I fought some cravings for savory foods, but really it was it was a lot easier than than I thought and actually easier than Banana Island um, for like just feeling full. Um, I also saved money. <laughs> on groceries eating watermelon island and I, I probably spent you know thirteen dollars a day on on watermelon island whereas sometimes I get a little fancy I can spend like ten dollars just making supper so I saved money which is great I love saving money <laughs> especially because I'm saving up to go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival in New York woo woo. another reason you know, I, I got into Watermelon Island was I started to notice that I was really craving um, more complex things, you know, really complex recipes at night with lots of ingredients, like s still raw, um, and but, you know, eating a little bit more fat than normal. Um, I was starting to feel less than optimal, so a cleanse, it was a good time for a cleanse. I haven't had any hives since I've done the Watermelon Island Cleanse, and I'm still working at um, the place where I 
feel like the hives are coming from with all the chemicals. Um, so the, sorry, so I think that the, the cleanse definitely helped. Well, it's, it's working regardless of what's causing my hives. Um, I'm feeling um, more clear and connected. I, I just, meditation has been easier and my dreams have been like amazingly real and really fun. I, um, I feel just lighter in my body. I was able to, you know, stay active and do all of my daily activities on Watermelon Island. The, I didn't exercise insane, but I did go for one um, really good run one of the days, day five I think it was, and it felt great. And, and yeah, recovery time was awesome. Another benefit is it gives your digestive system a break. I had a nice flat tummy the whole time I was doing it. And the watermelon digests so fast. It's, you know, it just naturally, um, you know, very cleansing food. And it's also a hydrating food, a diuretic. It makes you pee a lot, so you're peeing out a lot of toxins um, as you're cleansing. And it, I felt, I just felt like it was the perfect mono island fruit. I really loved it. Um, I've got dog hair in my mouth, sorry. Um, <laughs> another thing about watermelon is that it reduces inflammation. Um, it contains choline, a nutrient that aids in um, learning, memory, and sleep. But, um, you know, I don't recommend eating the watermelon before bed to sleep because you're just going to get up and pee all night. So I tried to stop eating watermelon around 7 o'clock in the evening so, so that it, I would, you know, pee another four or five times before bed. <laughs> you pee a lot. That's like the only downside to Watermelon Island, but it's a good thing because you're getting rid of toxins. Um, Watermelon Island, I've read a disclaimer on the internet that says it is not good for people with kidney stones, diabetes, or pancreas disorders, so be careful if you do have those. I was having some kidney pain before I started doing Watermelon Island. Um, I am not sure what caused it, I was thinking it was because I just all of a sudden started gorging on beets every day, eating beets, 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 and it's a, beets are, they stimulate the kidneys, so it might not have necessarily been pain, but just me just kind of being aware that they're functioning really high, hyperactively or something, I, I'm not sure, but I do know that since going on Watermelon Island, um, my kidneys, um, I haven't had any issues with them, so that's another plus. Um, but I always would recommend if you have any issues or concerns, talk to a, your healthcare provider before uh, doing a cleanse of any kind. I, um, yeah, the, the best thing I got out of it is just, you know, connecting with myself, learning more about my body, and having a new appreciation for foods. You know, as I was eating more complex and starting to crave more junk, like kale chips and things, uh, and eating them more than just as a treat, I, I now, you know, I can't wait to just eat a tomato. I can't wait. I might even have them for supper. We'll see. I'm, I'm trying to keep it simple today, and I have a whole box of ripe mangoes, atolfos, ready to go. So, awesome. Well, thank you for following my journey. I uh, might do a video on refeeding. And not refeeding because I've been eating, but um, reintroducing foods. And if you're interested, um, I will do that video for everybody, just to kind of follow how um, how I reintroduce foods after doing a watermelon island cleanse. Uh, you can you know watch my Instagram feed to see what I'm eating because I post everything on there, and that's at Miss Naturally Ashley. And as well as Facebook, you can find me Naturally Ashley and check out my website, www.naturallyashley.com. Thanks for um, stopping in and, you know, being a part of this journey with me. Thanks for, thanks to Michelle for starting this cleanse and um, in this community of watermelon junkies. I love you all and um, just much peace and love to everybody. Mwah. Have a wonderful day.